Okay, let's do a quick tutorial on how to do spell animations with Steve without using the weapon manager. So I'm going to be using this asset, this free asset right here, which has a magic one animation that we can use for this tutorial. Now in the animations, you see it right here. What I did was to convert the rig to humanoid and on the animations I baked the root rotation, the Y position and set it to original so I can have something like this. And I also mirror the animation so it throws with this arm right here. Now we're going to use the magic wand right here. And I'm going to create for Steve a new mode. And let's call it, I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to call it Magic Spells. And I'm going to give it a new ID. 12 is, a, is free, so we can use that one. And right here on the animator, on the tools, Marvel's Animations, Animator Tools, I'm going to select Steve. Go to Mode, select Magic Spells. And I'm going to select the magic wand and let's call this one fire spell. I'm going to add all the transitions and I'm going to add the mode and ability to stick player. Right here you will find it that we have the fire spell right here and we have the mode. Now let's create an empty substay machine to keep things organized and call it magic spells I'm going to drop it right here and now we're going to loop the animation let's see the loop how it goes now I'm going to set the loop so it goes to something like this this is I think this is a, a better loop option let's set it something like this kind of loops the arm goes down now let's set it something like this Keep it further a little further i think right here it works like a loop animation so I like round numbers, so I'm going to set something like this. And now we have the fact enter and exit, all the mode behavior is added. And for Steve, I'm going to disable the weapon manager on the player input link. I'm going to use the action one, which actually is the left button to use the animation. So I'm going to animal modes, magic spell fire spell input I'm going to set it right here if I play it shoots now but I want to press the input and keep charging so when I release the input the fire spell is released so right here on status I'm going to set charge or hold input and if I hold it you will see that it will keep looping and if I release it it goes down but I want to release the the firebolt so in magic spells right here the interrupted transitions I'm going to remove it and I'm going to create another transitions right here and it, this one is going to be the interrupt inter transition and the interrupted transition I care about the and this part of the animation so something like this this one is will not have exit time and the condition is this one right here interrupt transition but not equal and I'm going to remove this condition not equal.
Now the transition duration. So it's perfect. The loop. Interruption source. Next state. Perfect. And this is time. So let's try this one more time. If I if I hit play and I release, you'll see that the transition is doing one all over again, all over again. So this does not work. What we need to do is to duplicate the animation, remove the mode behavior, and the, and and make the transition or interrupted right here. So copy, paste, and I'm going to copy the transitions parameters and paste it right here. Paste both conditions and settings right here. And then we're going to go to the exit, which is point eight and point two. I'm to remove this one. I'm going to remove this one. Sorry. Interrupt transitions, fire spell. I think only the loop. Sorry. Interrupt transition should be this one right here. Sorry. This one is the the one that created here. We're going to remove it. And this one is the in the rope. Perfect. Now let's try this one more time. I'm fighting and I'm releasing. Perfect. Fighting and releasing. Holding, sorry. So holding and releasing. And if you want to remove the look at while, while firing the spell, the only thing we need to do is go to magic one error and corpse and add look at at zero hit enter apply and the look at won't be bothering you now let's release the fire other spell so i'm going to create an empty game object call it thrower and i'm going to add a projectile thrower and the projectile is going to be a fireball that i have Right here, the aim origin is going to be the hand. Let's add the hand. Sorry, not the target. The what is the hand? The thrower. You'll see that we're throwing from this. I'm going to add actually the finger. Right, perfect. And what else do we need? Let's see. We actually need to fire the projectile. So we're going to go to events for not the mode. We're going to go to the events of the ability. On fire spell enter, no, on fire spell exit, we're going to throw the projectile. Right here, projectile thrower, fire. Let's try this one more time. Perfect. We are throwing the projectile, but we're throwing always at front. So in the thrower, we need an aimer. So we're going to use the aimer direction. Let's hit play. Perfect. Now we need to. To move Steve so he can aim to the direction he can rotate or look at to the direction that we're throwing. So on fire spell enter, we're going to strafe. So animals strafe through and on fire spell exit, animals strafe false. Now, if you see nothing happens, that is because if we move, he will aim. But when we are idle, he does not move. That is because on the idle state, 
the movement while strafing is done by animations. So if I go right here, you'll see the idle strafe does not have additive movement. So if I do it right now, it will aim with the, mo the idle strafe set to, to 1. And if we move, it will move, but the feet won't move. That is in the case that you want to throw a spell but not moving. Simply, you need to set on the modes general additive position to zero, and we won't be able to move, but we will be able to rotate. But if you want to fire a spell and move and do all the things that you need to do, instead of using the mode full body layer that I forgot to mention. Let's do this on the upper body layer. So copy. Let's create the magic spells. Paste it. All the transitions are done. Right here, I'm not going to remove it, but I'm going to mute this one. And now, if we do this one again, you'll see that we can move and we can and we can fire the spell now the weird spine movement can be solved with AK, IK settings so you will need to create an IK constraint to fix that Sorry, let me go to idle and remove this one so you can see that he can rotate and move. But that's how you can create a, a firing spell without using without using the animal weapon controller.